Hmm. Are you tired of the fungal infections that keeps reoccurring on your skin? Have you tried various skincare products and medications to get rid of these infections, yet it keeps reverting? Good news, my friend. There is a natural cure to give a stop to these sickening fungal infections. The most satisfying thing about this natural remedy I'm going to share with you is that a single plant will be enough to get rid of this forever, and the preparation process is as simple as ABC. This plant is not just used for the treatment of fungal infections. It also has all the medicinal benefits. I am going to show you its preparation process and share its nutritional benefits with you. Make sure you stick around to the end. Let's learn together. Now, this plant that I am talking about that works wonders when it comes to treating fungal infections is called red acalypha and is commonly known as copper leaf and Jacob's coat with the botanical name acalypha wikisiana and it is native to south pacific islands now some people just have this plant planted in the garden of their house without knowing it possess wonderful amazing medicinal properties like my neighbor have this plant planted in their garden just you know just to beautify their house when i told her this red acalypha plant is highly beneficial highly medicinal she was very very surprised yes it is because the leaves of this plant reportedly contain saponins tannins and polyphenols and this plant has antimicrobial and antifungal properties and in traditional medicine the leaves are eaten as vegetable in the management of hypertension a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases being a diuretic plant when it comes to its medicinal value, a research has been carried out by Oyelemi et al. in Nigeria by using a califa wikisiana ointment, that is red califa ointment, to treat fungal skin diseases. And in 2003, when Oyelemi et al. carried out a non-comparative study to evaluate the safety and efficiency of a califa wikisiana ointment by using 32 Nigerians with mycological as well as clinical evidence of mycosis. The ointment successfully controlled the mycosis in 73.3% of the affected patients. It was very effective in treating pityriasis vasicolo, tinipidia, and candida intertrigo with 100% cure. The plant is also a abortifacient, antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial. The leaves are squeezed in water and the resulting juice is drunk as a treatment for diarrhea and dysentery. The juice of fresh leaves is drunk as a treatment for laryngitis. They are chewed on as a first aid treatment for a ruptured appendix. When it is applied externally, the leaves and young shoots are used to treat skin rashes. The leaves are basically boiled in water and used as a massage for patients with fevers. The fresh leafy branches are applied externally in order to induce perspiration apparently for their lubrificant effect. After boiling, you can now sieve out the drink, then serve to start drinking. Then the beautiful thing about this is that you can either drink it before or after meal. Then to drink, drink a cup in the morning and a cup at night, either before or after meal. Now, it is not just left for you to drink this alone. Yes, when you drink this it will kill all those annoying fungi infections or whatever from the inside then there's another beautiful thing you can do while treating these fungal infections is by applying this outside that is on your skin either through baiting or the like so we are going to show that process now now 
for you to apply this on your skin you have to pour the red akalifa drink you've made into a bucket or into your bathtub if you have a bathtub you can pour it in your bathtub and add some water then you can start using this water to bathe every day in the morning and at night and some people also match this plant into a paste and use it to wash the affected area it will also do a wonderful job you can either use it to bathe or match into a paste and place it on the affected area then after some minutes you rinse it off all right we've come to the end of this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified once i upload new videos i hope to see you in my next video cheers to a healthy life bye guys